Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster. Welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire 3. Well, last time we made it here to the city of Parch and we talked to the mayor, and he is sick and tired of eating fish. But he had mentioned something, kind of gave us a little hint of what we're supposed to do next. And he talked about the Macus River. So let's head over there and see if we can figure out uh, a plan to help get the mayor to help us find the legendary mariner, which I guess can help us get to the north so we can find God. If these roaches would eventually get out of my way. You nasty. All right, something just to show you really quick uh, how to get back to the mainland there. So turn around this way. There we go. Basically, all you need to do is just keep turning until you get kind of back to this area. And then that takes you back to Rapala. So anywhere along, if you line up anywhere along here, you'll be fine. So, okay, I just want to show you that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to meet you over uh, just past the checkpoint uh, going to Easter Windy because I want to show you something that I just figured out last time, or since the last time. Okay, I made it back here to the checkpoint, and I want to show you something real quick. Now, you may remember a couple episodes ago, I talked about Merrily. Oh, by the way, I also put Gar and Pico into my party, because I'm going to need them for the next part here. Uh, you, you may remember I was talking about getting some of Merrily's abilities and how it wasn't working out for me. And one person had uh, made a comment about how they thought that, well, maybe you need to have certain abilities on certain characters before you can get the abilities on Merrily. And I thought, okay. And I messed with that a little bit, and that's not right, but... It did get me to doing some experimenting. Now, if you'll look at Ryu's skills, his skills are already full. Like, he cannot learn anymore. You can only have a certain number of skills uh, per character, and it's 10. Ryu's got 10 skills, and he can't learn anymore right now while he's got other skills on. So, what you, need, what you can do is just start sending skills back to the skill notes and put them on different people a little bit later on, which we're actually going to want to do. So, let's go ahead and send a couple of skills back. We don't need Monopolize anymore. We can get rid of that. That's fine. Uh, intimidate. We don't want that. We can, we're going to end up giving that to somebody else. Uh, let's see. Let's keep. Let's keep this for right now. Frost. I don't need that anymore. We can go ahead and send that back. I want to keep at least three spots open right now for Ryu, so he can learn some skills. Um, and you know what? That's. Let's send back in. Back. I don't really need that. Um, you know what? That's good for now. Yeah, that's good. Because again, like I said, I only need three right now. Okay, that's good. So now let's go talk to Merrily. Now that I've got some free space in my inventory, and let's see if that makes a difference with getting some skills with her. Let's see if that helps. Now let's get through the enemies real quick. Oh my goodness. Lots of enemies here, including a goo type. Okay. Alright, that's fine. I'm going to have to sort my skills out. That's fine. Alright, Lava Burst and Pico Useless. And Gar. How about... Well, uh, let's, let's put Blitz to use. Let's see what that looks like. Use that ability yet. Oh, we'll wipe out most of them there. And a miss. Let's try Blitz. There you go. Good shot, Gar. Not bad at all. Now we'll get some extra turns here. There we go. No, I, really, I really should get the chain formation going uh, so that we can. So everybody can start getting extra turns. In fact, I better set that up real quick. Yeah, a good amount of experience. I'm Pico being a level. Actually, I actually don't know if I want that, though, because I may want to use Pico to learn some skills with his level being so low. Okay, let's get rid of these trees here and then throw Pico in the lead. Whee! There you go. Now, if I've done this correctly and Ryu has a free, some free spaces, he should now be able to learn some skills from Merrily. So let's let's check it out. Let's see if I can get that to work here. Thank you. Ha ha! There it is. Woohoo! And now Ryu can learn some abilities finally from Merrily. Charm. There we go. Uh, sh yeah, sure, that's fine. And we're good. Now let's see if we can learn another skill. There's three skills total that I can learn from Merrily. Thank you. And Ryu learns Shadow Walk, another good one. Okay, and there's one more that he can learn, and I don't know if he's gained enough levels yet. Let's see if he has. And... Nope, okay. So I need to come back after one or two more levels uh, to get the rest of them. But okay, so that's how that's what I need to do to get Mare Leaf skills. Okay, so we're all good now. And I was wondering, why the heck did that not work? But I'm glad that all worked out. So Charm increases the chance of finding an item. 
and a shadow walk is a warp attack, kind of a critical attack. So that's kind of cool. So okay, so now what I'm gonna do is let's uh, I'll get out of here off screen, and then I'll show you where we're gonna go next. All right, and now we've made it back to the world map. So now let's head over this way. We'll head over to the Micus Gorge, which is where we need to go next. All right, let's go this way and over here. And I believe you want to enter it from this path, if, I've done, if I remember correctly. Here we go. And we want to head over this way. And you may recall that there's, oh wait, hold on, sorry. There was a hut down there where we found a gene earlier in the game. If you go down here, we have this, we have this hut here. Now let's see if this woman can help us out. Uh, yes, it's a pretty kitty. Oh, Miyuki. Wait, there's two pets? Okay. Ah, Shisu. Awesome. Okay, prepare the seeds of the Shaley tree with vinegar into a small ball. Uh-huh. I see. Wait, but there's fish in there. That's a... You know, Mickerel's a fish. I thought the guy didn't want to eat fish. <laughs> yes. Ah, I see. So basically, we're going to trick him into liking fish. Perfect. That sounds exactly great to me. Okay. Mackerel on top of the shaley seeds. Okay. So basically, we have to become a chef. Okay, well, let's go through this real quick. Mackerel's a kind of fish. Okay. Uh-huh. Ah, oh, very nice. Sure. Shaley seeds. Type of tree that grows close to water. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, if you shake them, we can get some seeds. Very good. Okay, how about vinegar? Where do we get that? Yes, I know. I like vinegar. Especially salt and vinegar chips. Oh, so good. Vinegar at the... Oh, a coffee house. We've been there before. All right, and how about horseradish? Ah, oh, I see. Cool. I, I, I kind of sort of like horseradish. Um, it's okay. No, we have to head the down to mine. Okay, so basically we have to travel the world now to get these ingredients. Okay, so basically you put it together like bread. Uh-huh. Okay, sounds good. Gotcha. Okay, very good. So basically all we need to do is get the ingredients together and then come back here and we should be able to uh, put together this shisu dish, which kind of... Looks a little bit like a sushi in the name. I thought it makes sense because of the fish there. Ah, see? If you, if you kind of rearrange the word, the letters of shisu, you get sushi. Nothing! All right. Now then, let's see here. Let's see if Pico can do this here. Anything? No. Okay. So I want to say that around here we can find a tree. Now what happens if we bump this tree? We get the Shaley seeds. Woohoo! All right, sounds good. Um, I don't know how many times you. No. Ouch! I think you do this just a few times and you get the Shaley seeds. So there you go. Very good. And you want to get. Uh, let's see. I think we're gonna try and get a, a, a few of these here. Let's see. Yeah. So you want to be, uh, you want to get, let's see, how many of these do you want to get? You want to get eight Shaley seeds. So I'm going to keep bumping the tree here until I get the eight, until I get eight of these Shaley seeds. Let me check my uh, inventory and make sure that I'm doing this right. Uh, where is it? Oh, never mind. Okay, I've got good. So I guess you only need to really bump it once, but that's fine. Okay, cool. All right, very good. I thought for some reason you had to get eight of them, but I guess not. So, all right, very good. Okay, next thing we need to do is we need to get out of here. And they had talked about going fishing, or that there was a fishing spot to get some mackerel. So let's see if we can get some of that. Um, and it's been a while since we've done fishing, but we'll give it a go. All right, I believe 
Uh, let's see here. Where's that fishing? There's a couple different fishing spots that we can go to. Uh, let me make sure I'm getting the right one here. Actually, no, before we do that, let's check a uh, fairy village out. We haven't done that in a while. So if, if there's something here, then, well, let's go check it out. Let's see if there's anything going on here in the fairy village. I always like to check it every now and then. Uh, when you advance the story to see if anything has happened. Nope. Okay. So I guess there isn't anything going on here. Never mind. All right. So, since talking to that woman there, this fish spot has opened up here. And this is where we want to go. The best ingredients for that make us... Ah, specialty shisu can be found here. Excellent. Very good. And there's apparently three kinds of fish we can find here. So, all right. We haven't been fishing in a while, so I'll kind of review everything with you as we go. Good ready. Good ready. Okay, so you can see casting is X, quick fishing is with the triangle button, but we want to start by setting our rod and lure. Now you may have noticed a while ago we got the deluxe rod. Ray helped us get that after beating uh, the head of Balio and Sunder there. So now let's use a, uh, we got a bunch of different uh, fishes here, let's go ahead and use the spirit lure uh, so we can try and get the fish that you want here. All right, so you remember, you just push the X button to cast, and you can go really far out, or not too far out, which is kind of what we, well, okay, I need to go a little further. Right. Okay, let's go a little further out. There we go. And if you push everything in time, yeah, your, your technique can increase, which basically means that you might be able to get it. All right, now remember what you want to do is once you get a fish, is you want to try and, uh, you want to, yeah, you want to try and keep the green bar with the fish. And when he jumps, you don't want to do anything there. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Okay, let's try that one again. Uh, okay, no, I still have another... I still have the... Uh, I still have my bait. That's good. Okay, let's try that again. Like I said, it's been a while since, since I've gone fishing. There we go. Right. Okay, let's try that again. Um, you know what? Let's just do a level one. Because it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. Alright, let's try that again. And really, it's it's pretty easy to get the mackerel fish that we want. Let's see if I can get one. And I thought about it. Come on. Come on. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. Does not remind you of that? Did anyone see that Sesame Street cartoon where uh, Bert and Ernie were fishing and Bert wasn't getting anything and Ernie just went, here, fishy, 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 fishy. And then the fish jumped in the boat. Maybe I'm just losing my mind. But come on. Come on, fish. Stupid. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Try this again. Take number six. Okay, I've edited out some of the ones that you haven't seen here. Uh, there we go. Okay, there we go. So again, what you want to do is just keep the green. Keep the green. Keep the green uh, bar going there. And when he jumps, you don't want to. There we go. You don't want to jump. You don't want to do anything while he's jumping. And then once you once you tire him out a little bit, just keep holding the button down, and he should stay in place, and we should be able to get the fish. Got it. Oh, it's just a puffer fish. Shoot. Oh, well. Oh, well, I got a new fish. Okay, so I'm going to do this until I get the fish that I want, the mackerel fish. So let me take care of that and be right back. All right, there we go. And I got him really close, too. Ha-ha! There we go. And there's the fish that I wanted to catch, the mackerel fish. Woohoo! And you only need one of them, so that's good. So now we're done with this crap. Yes. And thank God I'm done with that crap. Oh, I hate that stuff. Okay, now the next thing that we need to do is we need to get the horseradish. And as the lady mentioned, uh, it's near the Dauna Mine. So what we want to do is we want to head over this way. And we want to take that warp over to the Dauna Mine. Uh, since I don't, because I don't want to do that stupid, uh, that stupid uh, path there through Mount Levitt. So okay, I'm going to take the warp, and then I'll meet you over near Dauna Mine. 
Okay, and I've made it back here uh, after taking the warp. I also went and I put um, Momo into my party because now I've gotten, or I've done with Pika what I need to do with him. And I want to have Momo start gaining some levels so we can learn those skills from Pondara. Now, I want to get this going here. Check this out. Uh, I want to get the chain formation going with uh, these guys, with Ryu in the lead. Now, let me show you how important that is. Let's first off, let's take a look at his speed. His agility is 37, and everyone, and Gars is 0, and Momo's is 9. Okay, now keep that in mind. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to head to the Ogre Road, because the lady said that the horse radish you can find in a forest near the down of hills. This is what he's talking about. So let's enter the Ogre Road from the south there. And we want to head up this way. All right, now let's put this new chain formation to use. Okay, now, for example here, we got slashers here. Now, Ryu's going to go first, because he's in the lead. But because everyone's speed is now the same as Ryu's, they all get to go right after Ryu's turn. Remember how Gar's speed was zero? He got his attack in ahead of the bird. I mean, that's how powerful chain form is. And when you start getting speed, casting speed on your party members, like, everyone is going to start getting extra turns. And all of a sudden, you become just completely, ridiculously badass. All right, let's try this again. Now we've got a Tricker and a Vagabond. So let's uh, put our skills to use and let's see if we can take these guys out. Okay, good, I can one-shot the Trickers, very nice. And, and now, even with Momo on our team, now we can put the enemies to sleep. I mean, this is how crazy this is. In fact, now that I think about it, I want to rearrange my setup here just slightly, because I want Gar to be, I want Gar to be, next in line, so that he does his attack, and at the end, Momo could possibly put him to sleep with the chain formation. My goodness, that's just going to be incredible. Okay, now we make our way over here, and if we slash these trees with Ryu, maybe, we get the horseradish. Excellent. And we can get three of them at a time, and these are the only three that are in this area. There we go. And I actually want to get four, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave here, come back here, get the four horseradishes I need, and then I will meet you... I'm going to meet you back at Windia, so I can show you where we need to go next uh, to get the final ingredient. Okay, I'm actually in eastern Windia, which is just fine, just past where I uh, got Leap there. And I need to go to the coffee shop, so let's go here. Because uh, I think the, uh, the lady said the final ingredient was in a coffee shop. And we've been here before. This is where Delonzo is. Um, if you haven't gotten her uh, skills already, which you should have by now, but... Okay, now I need to look around here. There should be somebody that we can speak with down over here. Yeah, see, there's a cloaked guy here. Hmm, someone with rope-pulling experience. I just happen to have somebody that can do that right here. Absolutely. Uh, sure. Man, why has Gar's thing just become pulling rope? And now we have to do another little mini game. Now, unfortunately, you have to go through the tutorial, so we'll go through it together. Uh huh. So you push the triangle button to lower the rope. Okay. One bucket at the end of the rope. You know this splash, okay? Uh huh. Okay. Directional button to move the bucket back. Uh huh. All right. And there's the filling up sound. Uh huh. Okay. Sounds simple enough. Oh boy. So we have to do a little memorization here. Okay, sounds good. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oi, okay. No, we got it. All right, so now basically, and this is kind of a kind of a, a chance game here, so, all right. One, two, four. Okay, so four times I pushed it down, so. I'm going to the left one right there to fill it up. 
Okay, now it's full. Now pull it up. One, two, three, four. Oh, wait, what? Yeah. All right, let's try this again. God, I always seem to fail the minigame the first time. All right. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, take four of this. Okay, nine looks like. Let's go back and forth now. Four, six, okay, now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Got it! Woo! God, I hate that stupid minigame. All right. Very good. Sure, no problem. Very good. And we get some vinegar. Woo! All right, very nice. And now we should have all the ingredients that we need. But what will happen when we put everything all together? Will the mayor like the suit or the she suit that we've created? You have to wait till next time to find out. Till then, it's BCS Buster signing off. Don't forget to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter at BCS Buster LP, check out my blog, check out my donations page, and as always, take care, y'all.